So Cyberpunk 2077 just launched about 4 days ago and at the time of writing this video it came out to very mixed reception. The game itself isn't bad, but the lack of polish, and the quality, is the main problem. It's buggy at the least on PC, and an unplayable mess on console. So naturally, when the Metacritic user review score came out for it, it got review bombed hard. And I'm actually one of the people who saw this mess of a game firsthand, and was one of the people who bought it on last gen hardware. And if you hadn't heard this already, it kinda runs like shit. How bad, you might ask. There's tons of other videos giving a much better explanation of how bad it runs, but I'll give you a quick rundown of it. Cyberpunk 2077 runs at a dynamic 900p and 30 frames per second. Except it's not a dynamic 900p. It's more like 720p most of the time, maybe 900p if you're lucky. And it's also not 30 frames per second. It's more like 24 frames a second, sometimes drops down to 15. I am not kidding when I'm saying the game is borderline unplayable. Literally the fucking cinematic intros frames are dropping. I really wish I was kidding. I started this game up Thursday and was just shocked to find out that even the fucking cinematic intro, essentially a pre-recorded video, is dropping frames. That's how not well optimized this game is for PS4. And to make things even worse, CD Projekt Red knowingly lied to consumers saying the game runs surprisingly well on last gen hardware. Yeah, if this game runs surprisingly better than what they expected on PS4, I can only imagine what they exactly expected. There's so many memes about how the console performance screenshots, and it's just a complete mess. And as of December 14th, these issues are nowhere fixed on console. Apparently they had a patch a few days ago that fixed quest bugs and fixed overall performance and crashing. However, I really haven't noticed anything. <laughs> Apparently, the game would crash a lot on PS5 and Series X. I only got around two hours into the game after the first quest with Jackie at the beginning before I just decided, fuck it, I'm just gonna wait till the game gets fixed on base consoles, or just play it when I eventually get a PS5. Because quite honestly, again, the game is borderline unplayable on PS4. And this is coming from someone who honestly loves CD Projekt Red as a developer. I bought The Witcher 3 twice on PS4 and Switch, and it remains the only game I've ever bought twice, out of respect for the developers, because The Witcher 3 is just that good of a game. Look, I'm a console player. I've played on Switch and Switch alone for three years straight. I don't care if the game runs at 30 frames per second. I don't care if the game runs at 1080p. And if you've gotten me pissed about the graphics, if you're getting a primarily Switch player angry about graphics, I am sorry, but you have failed at your job. There is absolutely no reason why we should, in 2020, have a game that's running on base PS4 at less than 1080p. I'm sorry, but there is no excuse. If this game were the Switch port, I would be fine with that. When you buy a Switch port, you sacrifice the graphical quality for convenience and portability. But no, this is running on base PS4. I can't take my base PS4 on the school bus. I can't take my PS4 into bed. It's a home console. Running at less than 1080p, and constantly, I'm talking constantly, like every 30 seconds, dropping frames. There is this screenshot I took from the Witcher 3 Switch port of these fish in a cutscene that were just really low poly, and it was funny. It was fine because, again, it's on Switch, and you sacrifice the quality for convenience. Not only that, but it was for like 3 seconds. On Cyberpunk, it does not only look and feel like a Switch port. But the frame drops are more frequent. It takes longer for textures to load in. There are probably even more rough textures in this game than there are on Switch games. This is inexcusable. And the worst part is that Cyberpunk is genuinely a really good game. I have a really strong feeling that Cyberpunk is going to be the game to pass up Breath of the Wild for me as my favorite game of all time. Just not in the state that it's in on PS4. That is not me saying Cyberpunk is a bad game, nor am I saying that people shouldn't be enjoying it. Cyberpunk is actually a really good game, aside from the performance issues and the lack of polish in its current state. I do not have a single problem with this game aside from the performance. I think the gunplay is fun enough, the story is phenomenal, and the world design is easily my favorite thing about the game. But I don't want to play it in its current state, so I'm waiting to get a PS5 so then I can get the true experience of how the game was meant to be played. Now to give credit where credit is due, CD Projekt Red tweeted this morning an apology for the poor performance on consoles, and I really appreciate this. I have never seen a company tweet out an apology after they've been getting backlash from fans. 
And I think a lot of companies should take note on CD Projekt Red Zen. They said they would be offering full refunds to anyone wishing to do so, which is great. They also said they would be fixing the console performance to hopefully run at 1080p at a locked 30 frames per second, which has me hopeful. I have full faith in CD Projekt Red that they will fix every flaw people have with this game in a matter of six months. But that's the issue. Six months. When it should have been like that at launch. Not in the buggy, unplayable mess that it is from what I've played. I get it. You have to get your game out before the holidays so it can sell to its maximum potential. Sure. But that's something I would expect from a company like EA or Bethesda to do, not CD Projekt Red. Sure, some people have been cutting CDPR some slack, since they did make The Witcher 3 one of the best games of all time, but no, stop it. Don't excuse poor behavior like this, because then it's going to become the new standard. You can't have double standards all because Company A made a product I really like. Stop it. But the thing that pisses me off the most, more than the performance on the consoles, more than the bugs, more than the fact CDPR lied about the performance on consoles, it's the people defending their awful business practices. Fanboys are a fucking disease. They will blindly defend any wrongdoing people do. Nintendo has them after the whole free melee controversy, Naughty Dog has them after the whole Last of Us 2 controversy, and CD Projekt Red has them now with the whole Cyberpunk 2077 console problem. But CDPR fanboys might be the worst offenders. I came across some posts of people saying, why are people complaining about the console performance? What did you expect? You're playing a next gen game on last gen hardware. And to these fucking idiots, I say, fuck you for defending the shitty business practices. If you like the game, great. I'm so glad you're able to enjoy this masterpiece in the state that it is. But if you're defending CDPR saying, what did you expect? Shut up. You're part of the fucking problem. In my opinion, you're honestly worse than the company who- Let me debunk someone's points. I'll use a TikTok I found a few days ago. Apparently Cyberpunk 2077 doesn't work very well for the base consoles of the PS4 and the Xbox. Okay, this isn't really the type of content I post, but I have to talk about it. Yes, Cyberpunk was originally being made for the PS4 and Xbox One back in 2012 before those consoles were even released. Okay, yep, that's true. But technically, it never went into full development until 2016 after The Witcher 3 DLCs were finished. Yes, it has technically been in development for 8 years, like people say it was. But really, it's only been in development for 4 years, because 4 of those 8 years were spent making The Witcher 3 the masterpiece that it is today. They literally announced the game as soon as the idea of making a cyberpunk game came up in their head. That's why it took 8 years from reveal to release. The games don't take that long to develop from reveal to release. I'm sorry, but they don't. CD Projekt Red realized how ambitious this game was and how long it would take for them to make it. Thus, the game eventually surpassed those consoles. The if the game surpassed the PS4 and Xbox One, why did they release them? Why didn't they make them exclusive to PS4 Pro and Xbox One X and above? Why didn't they make it next gen only? Oh, right. Money. That's right, because barely anyone has the PS5 and Xbox Series X right now because there's so little stock. And cutting off the whole PS4 and Xbox One line would have lost a lot of money, and the game would have sold probably half of the 8 million that it actually sold. Game runs really well on PS4 Pro and Xbox One X. Also, Series X and PS5 are great. And of course, if you have the graphics card, it's amazing on PC. Yeah, it's amazing on PC. Yeah, it runs fine on PS4 Pro and Xbox One. Yeah, it runs great on PS5 and Xbox Series X. But the problem is, the game runs like dog shit on PS4 and Xbox One. And it's being charged for the same price it's being charged on PC. Charged on PS5. Charged on PS4 Pro. Maybe, if the game was only $40 because of the poor performance on last gen hardware, the what did you expect argument would be a little more tolerable. Maybe, if CDPR was a lot more honest about the last gen performance, the argument would be slightly more tolerable. But they weren't honest about the last gen performance. They didn't discount the last gen versions. They charged a full $60 for it and essentially only showed the next gen and PC version. That's our problem. When you pay $60 for a video game, you would expect that game to be at least playable. 15 frames per second is not playable. I'm sorry, but it's not. Constant crashing every 1-2 to two hours is not playable. There's a certain standard for PS4 games, 1080p at high 20 to 30 frames per second. It's not hard. Plenty of games are able to look better than Cyberpunk. 
Last of Us 2, Red Dead 2, Witcher 3. The Witcher 3 was made by the fucking developers of Cyberpunk. 900p with constant frame drops is absolutely unacceptable. With Switch games, it's almost unacceptable. And the fact that some people are defending it, saying, well, go buy a PC, go buy a PS5. What if people don't have the money for a PC? What if people can't find a PS5? Just to remind you, we're in the middle of a fucking pandemic. People are already struggling to even pay for the game. And telling them to buy new hardware to pay the game they already paid for? When it's supposed to be playable on their old hardware? The fuck? When you buy a game, you expect it to run well enough on the console it's supposed to be for. You don't buy a PS4 game expecting it to only be playable on PS5. Sure, the game is technically playable on PS4, but it runs like a hot steaming pile of shit. It looks like a Switch game. But that is because, yes, it was announced for current gen consoles, but it has been made for next gen consoles. Of then why the fuck was it put on PS4 in the first place? Why would you make a game specifically for the power of next gen hardware to the point where it's a fucking mess on last gen and then continue to sell it at the same $60 for both? It's not a good business practice. Of course you're going to experience bugs. You're playing a game that still shouldn't even be out yet on old hardware. No. If it shouldn't be out yet, then why is it? CD Projekt Red knows sure as hell what delays are. They've delayed the game multiple times. All of the normal, mentally sane people would have been fine with waiting a few extra months for the game to be polished. If you aren't, you're an impatient little shit that shouldn't be accepted as a human in society. It doesn't matter if it's old hardware. Again, there's a certain standard for buying any game. You need to have a finished product that runs fine from what you've seen in the marketing material. Cyberpunk 2077 on the PS4 is not comparable to the marketing material. Let's talk about that factor. Yeah, the game has bugs because you guys forced CD to release the game early. Nobody forced CD to release the game early. There were like two idiots who sent death threats to CD. And while it is terrible that people did that, there's a block button for a reason. There's a report button for a reason. You know why people release the game early? I'll tell you why. To get it out before the holiday season, so it can sell to its maximum potential. You want proof? What did CDPR make the reviewers sign on before the game came out? An embargo. An embargo that only let people see the pre-release footage that people had already seen in the game. They never gave any console review codes because they knew the console versions were a broken mess. This is shady as fuck, and honestly probably violates the laws in some way or another. Like, shouldn't lying to your consumers to make your product sell higher be illegal? I think it should. It's my biggest gripe with The Last of Us 2. It kept getting delayed for a reason, and every time that happened, you guys sent death threats. You forced CD's hand and they released the game, and now it has bugs. Fun fact, The Witcher 3 had bugs and it's one of the greatest games ever made. Be patient, they'll get fixed. Yes, I guarantee you the console versions will get fixed. Every flaw people have with the game is going to be fixed. There is no doubt in my mind about that. The problem is, they should have been fixed from the start. If Bethesda or EA did something like this, oh boy, they'd be in some deep shit right now. And the fact that people are defending this absolutely disgusts me. If you're defending the performance on consoles saying you should have bought better hardware or the problems will get fixed, you're basically poor shaming everyone who bought it on PS4 and Xbox. If there's anything good that came out of this whole cyberpunk launch, aside from the memes, it's that I'm finally gonna have some time to finish the games in my backlog. Good god, my backlog is fucking massive, and the PS Plus subscription is about to run out, so I'm gonna need some money pretty soon. But anyways, that was my talk for the day. Thank you all for watching. And hey, what are your impressions of Cyberpunk 2077? Even despite the performance issues, I still honestly love the game. Everything aside from the performance issues, in my opinion, is living up exactly to what I expected it to be. And really, I'm so excited to play the finished version of this game in the next coming months. This game is like my dream game. An open world story based RPG set in a dystopian future where you have to take down this mega corporation with open ended combat sequences. I love these kinds of stories. And the gameplay is fucking awesome. And even despite the game looking like shit on PS4, it's still blowing me away with the whole Cyberpunk future aesthetic. Anyway, thank you all for watching, I hope you have a great rest of your day.